to hear. Drink a good meal of it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it, now all together a cheer. Hi folks, once again it's time for your One Take Beer Review. I'm Mark McDermott, your One Take Beer Reviewer, uh, Chicago Craft Beer Examiner on examiner.com and the Beer or Not on chicagonow.com. Uh, first order of business, we actually have a comment on one of our previous YouTube uh, videos. I have had some comments before, but I kind of let them slide until uh, it was kind of too far gone to talk about it. But this is on our previous one take beer review of Newcastle Founders Ale. It's from uh, user Super Pelic, S U P E R P E L I C. And of course, he has some uh, YouTube videos of his own that I'm sure he'd like you to go look at. And it just says, Great review, and the intro song sets the perfect mood. Cheers. Uh, want to mention the introductory song that I use. It is a song called Glorious Beer by an artist called Dan W. Quinn recorded back in 1899 during the Cylinder era when you had to not hand make but uh, you had to record only 10 cylinders at a time because they didn't have mass production yet and it was something actually I purchased it from a guy who transcribed old cylinders but of course now you can get it uh, pretty much several places on the internet especially the internet archive and that's the great thing about the internet is uh, if not for financial considerations, every song ever recorded is available to you, and every movie or TV show could be available to you, and if it's not, every opening credit of a TV show or movie is going to be recreated in Legos. Anyway, today's beer has been sent to me for my consideration. It is from the folks at Shiner in uh, Spezzo Brewery in Shiner, Texas. They have been around now for 103 years. Well, it says they're starting their brewery's 102nd year, so actually they'd be 102 years old. Uh, excuse me while I split a hair or two. And apparently being good German brewers that they were. They were doing lagers all this time and now they have finally come up with their first uh, ale. It is the, uh, and I'm reading the, the little cheat sheet right here, Special Brewery's Shiner Wild Hair Pale Ale. If I think about it I'll try to put a picture right here. And uh, let's see what it says. The debuting February 3rd, Shiner Wild Hair Pale Ale will be joining the family of Shiner beers from the Spezzo Brewery. The first ale created by the Spezzo Brewery in its 103 year history. Shiner Wild Hair is a classic American pale ale with American two row barley and a blend of Munich and caramel malts for rich malt flavor, clear amber color. U.S. Golding and Bravo hop varieties are used in the kettle and fermenter for bitterness and hop fruit and floral aromas. More than a pound of hops is used to produce each barrel of Shiner Wild Hair. I think that's uh, that's probably just an average uh, pale ale, but for Pete's sake, let's find out. I'm picking up a, a fellow lager glass. Uh, this is one from Shells in New Ulm, Minnesota. Check this out on Rate Beer. They still say for the uh, American style or any style pale ale, the American pale ales, they you can use either a lager glass or your standard uh, bar shaker. In other words, there isn't really a set glass style for this. Yes, I popped the cap even though it has a screw off on it. But uh, let's see how this uh, works. Try to give it the old pour down the middle, which should uh, let out a lot more foam, but that helps bring out more of the smell. But when you're doing it down one of these straight glasses, you get this. But the head is dwindling right away. It's a uh, very, I don't know how well you can see the colors here, but it's a uh, slightly orangey head. Uh, spongy, it's a lot very uh, foam rubbery texture. That's, uh, I shouldn't say rubbery, that's not how it smells. It has a nice uh, nice uh, green hop and American hop smell, slightly citrusy and piney. And while we wait for it to go down, la di da di da. Have to work out how to uh, pour beers when you have limited time, I guess. I'm saying that so far the hops, uh, I mean the, the foam tastes uh, lightly hoppy.
and it is uh, a, a slightly dark uh, burnished gold to brassy color. A uh, little a little lighter in the range for a pale ale, but uh, then again, that encompasses so much uh, so much variation here. But what I'm getting it is more of a mass consumption pale ale. Um, malts are uh, are well I guess we'll call them crisp they're not overly sweet or sticky part of that is going to be due to the um, balancing effect of hops I think um, more of the hops are here for balance than to overpower uh, the drinker as a uh, number of American pale ales with uh, way too much hop in them are but does have a uh, pretty fresh hop taste. Um, maybe not so much a green hop. That's probably not what I'm thinking of here, but um, a very uh, noticeable uh, pine resin and pine needle and just a slight backing of citrus hop to it. So it's uh, a pretty good introductory or gateway pale ale if you want to uh, bring it to someone who maybe likes uh, shiners and wants to go into more interesting beers. So um, it's a very nice first effort as far as a very first ale made by the Shiner Brewery. Again, that is Shiner Wild Hair Pale Ale. Should be in your area now or coming soon. And And speaking of music, I'm going um, to try to uh, go back on the radio in a very tiny college station, WIIT at Illinois Institute of Technology. Watch for a program. It should be on Wednesdays at uh, 7 p.m. starting uh, now. And, and you can get it online at uh, radio.iit.edu. Uh, it's called Musical Cheese. And, well, if you like the kind of music I'm playing at the start and end of the song, you'll probably get an idea of what Musical Cheese will be. Cheers! Now don't be afraid of it!